just want to do a quick video here. Uh, I welded this this piece to uh, this interior piece in here, and the interior piece is threaded. And I need those threads to be perpendicular with this surface. Um, what I ran into was when I welded it, it warped a little bit, it twisted this way. So <clears throat> what I've done here is I've uh, chucked the piece up in the lathe that I need to be um, perpendicular to this this face and space put a spacer in here I took it out after I had got the uh, the work clamp down here and what I did was I zip tied this uh, angle grinder onto um, the crossfeed um, I've got several zip ties on there and it 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 doesn't move at all. I've got it zip tied so it can't go back, it can't go forward, uh, it can't go side to side. Um, <clears throat> and so I've got my little Atlas mini lathe here. And what happens is, is I turn it on, feed it into the work, and then once I get close to it, because this is this is like this over here, so I got to go real slow into the piece. It'll start. It'll start. You know, grinding. And <laughs> After I, I've started to do it a little bit, you can see, might be able to see down here. Um, what I found is, is that the gravity, because the lathe is just on my little bench here, and it's tilted a little bit, and the the vibrations from the motor running, the electric motor back there, it's got some uh, bearings going bad in it, it regardless, um, will actually keep a slight... Um, feed into the workpiece. Now it's not, it's not feeding but it's just you can see the handle just moving slightly as it as it goes so you know it's trying to work into the piece so I can leave it. Um, I mean I'm standing here but I, I don't have to manually hold the feed um, and feed it in. So what I'm going to do here is just show you a video of how it works. I've got everything plugged into a uh, to a switch over here so I'll just turn it all on at once. <laughs> Okay, and I'll just kind of show you what it's doing here. Um, this is going to take a while, but with me not having to stand here and do it, and this uh, this mini lathe uh, is not real good on on steel like this, and this is actually a hardened steel, so it's uh, it would take me several bits probably, and just beat the hell out of the lathe trying to trying to straighten this out, or take me a long long time to do it by hand. So I uh, just a little another little cool trick. Uh, I've got my lathe, my my little lathe now, so y'all can stop yelling at me about the bench grinder. <laughs> See you later.